Greetings everyone! In today's video, we will be doing a brief overview of the Wuthering Waves version 1.1 trailer. Drop a like on the video if you find this information useful, and comment below which 1.1 character you're most excited for, Jinsi or Chenli. First and foremost, we are getting a 7 days login event with a total of 10 pulls, 5 standard banner pulls and 5 limited banner summons, if you think that was something. The special check-in event says hold my beer, and grants a total of 30 freaking pulls. 10 limited banner summons on July 4th, 10 weapon banner summons on July 6th, and lastly, 10 standard banner summon on July 10th. Good luck on those summons, fellas. So right off the bat, I notice what appears to be a new character at the beginning of the trailer. This person in Jue appears to be behind Jinsi, yet she states that she can feel the Sentinels present ahead of her. The trailer could be spliced out of order, but this would imply the dragon form behind her no longer contain the Sentinel's consciousness. Of course, I could just be reading too much into this. If we pause at the 14 second mark, we get a better look at the new character. Whether it's a friend or foe is hard to say. I'm just speculating a bit here, but this character could end up being Ju A in human form. The Sentinel is affiliated with time, so the name for 1.1 Thaw of Eons could be read as the melting of time or shedding of time. Again, I am reaching a bit with this one. Moving on to characters we do know a little about. The two new characters for version 1.1 are Jinsi, a Spectro Broadblade user along with her signature weapon, the Ages of Harvest, and Chen Li, a Fusion Sword user along with her signature weapon, the Blazing Brilliance. Jinsi's banner will go live on the release of 1.1, while Chen Li's is reserved for the second half. This update will also see the release of several Echo, including a Calamity class Echo in the form of Ju A. The Sentinel's Echo allows the user to summon Ju A dealing Spectro damage to the surrounding targets. This ability also work in combination with the user's resonance skill. They didn't show it. Here but on their Billy Billy page, it appears to be able to create an updrift like a Venti skill. The Sentinel will be joined by six other Echoes. The three cost Lumiskull Construct, Three cost Light Crusher. Three cost Glacio Dread Main. One cost Lava Larva. One cost Clang Bang. And lastly, the one cost Dwarf Cassowary. Of course, it wouldn't really be a new update without some new events. The first one, Tales from Mount Firmament, will likely just have you survey certain locations in the new map for some awesome rewards. Trace of Mount Firmament is a photo-taking event. This one should be quick and easy. Depths of Elusive Realm, Dreams ablaze in darkness will put your combat skills to the test and reward you handsomely for overcoming its challenges. If that sounds too easy, then I assure you, Tactical Simulacra will not disappoint. Lastly, Lalo campaign looks to be commission base, so maybe it will be tied to our dallies so another easy to complete event. Of course, since we are getting a new map, there should be plenty of exploration to do and secrets to uncover. I wish you all the best of luck in your Jinsi summon. May the 50-50 not be with you. <laughs>